Religious, business leaders and important personalities have come together at the 13th Annual Lecture Symposium of the Center for Values in Leadership to exchange ideas on the theme Wealth, Poverty and Human Dignity. And one after the other, the host, Professor Pat Utomi, and the symposium chairman, Dr. Folusha Phillips, whose birthdays coincide with the lecture date, bear their minds on why Nigeria must optimize its resources for wealth creation across all strata. Much debated subject of our country is whether politics is underdeveloped in Nigeria. Our politicians bringing progress to our country or are they taking our country back? How much does our politics reflect the need to elevate the dignity of the human person? Creating wealth in Nigeria's context is learning to add value. It's getting cocoa from the ground and turn it into chocolates. It's getting cotton and turn it into fabrics. The keynote speaker, Vice President Yemiya Shimbaja, who believes that human dignity is a right, says the Buhari administration is committed to social protection through the strategic conditional cash transfer scheme. Well, the whole idea is that money will be made available. Beginning the first phase, we are dealing with at least a million uh, Nigerians who are considered extremely poor. And of course, the vulnerable also, the, uh, the disabled, will be in that, in that number. The disabled poor will be in that number. This is one of the best pro-market uh, uh, pro social protection programs. In other words, because you have people who have nothing at all are given some money, they are able to inject money back into the economy. They're able to buy things from the markets. They're able to provide for themselves, and in some cases even save a little. The forum features series of speeches from other social and religious leaders. There is a danger of polarization. And, uh, and whereas we need to move together, and it is difficult even to talk about putting our heads together when there is too much uh, anger. Five tertiary institution essayists also competed for rewards of between 50,000 Naira and 750,000 Naira. After all is said and done, the host, Professor Otomi, says he is confident of poverty eradication in the country. We must create equal opportunity for everybody and the best way to do that is through education. Nigeria, Africa's largest resource-based nation, is currently challenged with low prices of oil and dwindling foreign reserves. These leaders see this situation as an opportunity to reform the economy.